Hey there, how it goes? It's Matthew here with my 2003 GMC Sierra 1500 HD four-wheel drive SLT. And uh, as you may have noticed by how the back wheels are turned, it is a it is the rare quadra steer option. Uh, I got this truck three months ago, four months ago in January for $5,500 from a guy who was going to trade it in on a new Highlander. Um, it, he, he posted it on the quadra steer group and he just happened to be about two hours away and uh, he was asking eight I made him an offer of five uh, we settled on on fifty five hundred uh, I think I got a pretty good deal um, the truck does have a few issues um, as you can see these wheels have no hubcaps um, it came with one hubcap that was good right here and uh, one was missing and the other two were messed up but I really don't like the hubcaps on these ion wheels anyway. I think they look better with just the dust caps. And I'm probably going to end up painting them uh, like a tan camo color. Uh, kind of like uh, Whistling Diesel did in, to his uh, $12,000 rims. But I think it looked pretty good on those. So might look good on mine. We'll see. Um, as you can see, there's some paint here. Um, it's, it, it's from his... His, his wife backed into the post that holds up their garage um, about three or four days before I bought it um, you know it I, I, I checked it out a little bit it's it with a little bit of uh, scrubbing it'll come off uh, and this I'm just gonna pull these uh, chrome things off they're in pretty bad shape anyway I really don't like them I think it would be better without the chrome on the side I'm going to take off these stickers. There's another one on the other side. And that, go ahead and get that off of there right now. Um, the middle light on the clearance lights is out. And the this light right here is out as well. Uh, those are easy fixes, obviously. Um, it has a new upper A arm over here. Um, it's got a dent right there in the hood. The upper ball joint on this side needs to be replaced. Got another stupid sticker there. The rear window motor uh, doesn't work, so he put that tape there so his kids wouldn't put it down by accident. Um, but you know, it's it's not. It, whenever I got it, it wasn't that clean inside. I ended up having to get a detail, 50 bucks. It was not a deep detail, just a, you know, just one to clean it up a little bit, get all the dirt out of everything. Headliners falling down. In the front, on the side, um, see, uh, tear right there, tear right there, starting to tear right there. Um, it's got the stock Bose radio. Um, but besides that, everything looks, looks pretty good on it, you know. The AC doesn't work. He said it was just the actuator, but it ended up being that it was more than that. I think it has a leak. I recharged it, and uh, it dropped 15 PSI in about three hours. So uh, that's, that's definitely going to have to be looked at. And you're probably not going to be able to tell from the video, but it sits funny. And it's on a slant right now, so you're not going to be able to tell. But the back left side sits farther down than the right. But I don't think it's anything major like frame damage. I checked the Carfax. It's been a one wreck, minor damage to the front uh, driver's side. Um, but the reason I don't think that it's uh, any kind of frame damage is when I jump on the back, it it uh, you can tell there's something off uh, with the shocks. The right one goes down as normal and the left one doesn't, which wouldn't make sense because the left side sits about two inches lower than the right. So I, I bought some uh, $40 shocks off of eBay um, and I'm going to replace them and hopefully that solves the problem. If not, uh, next step would be leaf springs and after that it's going to leave it like it is because I'm not replacing frame sections. But um, besides the quadra steer, which is cool in itself. The, this truck also comes with something else that uh, I've never had before. It is I have it has a uh, Magnuson supercharger. 
you can hear it whistling a little bit. Let me tell you, it really, it really opens up uh, the power on this truck. I pulled my 16-foot uh, trailer with my uh, uh, Kawasaki mule on it, and uh, at highway speeds, this is the first truck I've ever had that I can literally say uh, I could not feel the trailer back there. So I'm gonna go hook up my trailer, and I'm gonna do a little demonstration of how useful the quadra steer is. And it, it, it's really amazing that when this option came out it didn't do as good as uh, it should have um, but if you if you go to mr. trucks channel his involvement with the project uh, back in 2002 2003 and 2004 uh, and how ridiculous GM was uh, like one one of the events that Delphi and mr. truck set up they were gonna go out there um, Chevy was going to bring a bunch of quadra steer trucks and uh, they were going to let people drive them with trailers doing evasive maneuvers just to show how useful the quadra steer is but Chevy showed up with one truck and said that uh, and they put it in a showroom and said no one could drive it so I mean sounds like it's all GM's fault so let me go hook up my trailer and I'll give you all a demonstration funny I've never it it's been years since I backed into uh, the tongue of a trailer with my bumper and of course now that I'm recording it happens but uh, I ain't too worried about it. I'm sure it's not the first time I mean not the last time it's gonna happen so the first pass is gonna just be me in two-wheel steer uh, showing how difficult it is to maneuver a trailer in such a tight spot uh, you'll see what I mean in a second but and then the second pass is going to be in four wheel steer I don't think I'm even going to have to do a three point turn in the four wheel steer but you'll see Now y'all saw how many times that that took me to turn around like that. Now, I'm pretty experienced with the trailer. I've uh, I had a lawn service with this particular trailer, and uh, I've I've done some pretty interesting maneuvers. Just I'm sure everyone you know as everyone has who's got experience towing. But uh, now watch how easy it is to do this in, in four wheel steer.
Did y'all see that? That's just insane. It is absolutely bewildering to me that this didn't take on. You know, if anyone had gotten uh, into the driver's seat of a truck like this with a trailer, they'd have been sold in a heartbeat. You know, I mean, that was crazy. What I almost couldn't do in two wheel steer, I did in one shot with quadricep, and I actually hadn't tried that before. So I didn't know if that was going to work or not. I'm lucky it did. But uh, it's just awesome. I guess I'm going to end this video here. There will be more videos to come very soon. I'm going to do kind of a time lapse of the uh, uh, little repairs that I'm doing. I'm also going to take the rear lift kit off and lower the front a little bit. I might end up getting stock keys for the uh, uh, whatever they're called. I can't remember them right now. But... Uh, you know, I want to bring the height down a little bit so I don't have to put running boards. Uh, like I said, I'm going to take off the chrome, uh, get all that crap off the door. I'm probably going to either take the window visor off on the front or get another one for the back, something like that. I've already got the shocks. I'm going to paint the wheels. I'm going to do it, like I said, I'm going to do it kind of a black and tan camo color scheme. Probably I might change that uh, one of these days. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, if you like the video and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. Uh, either way, if you, if you liked it, please leave a like. Uh, you know, I'm new at this, so if y'all have any suggestions, please leave a comment or send me a private message. Um, so, I'm, like I said, I'm new to this, and I really want to put out stuff that people want to watch. And I know there's not a lot of Quadrasteer content out there, so I hope this was entertaining. Have a good one.